The new Facebook Leads ad integration is now live inside Public Connect and this integration is actually based on webhooks which means as soon as there is a new lead inside Facebook it will be instantly available inside Public Connect in real time. When the lead is available inside Public Connect in real time you can basically capture that lead and send it across to Google Sheet or even send a message back to the responder who has filled out the form. And you can just do lots and lots of things with an instant integration with Facebook lead ads. Let me show you how it is done. So I'm just writing the name as Facebook lead ads to Google Sheets. Okay, so this is my workflow name. And I just created this workflow now. I will be selecting Facebook lead ads as a my trigger application because this is the application from where I am getting all my new leads data from. Now the trigger event that you will have to select is an instant trigger which says new lead in any form. As of now you always used the new lead trigger but now we actually added a new trigger step here which says new lead in any form and it is an instant integration. So all you have to do is just click on the endpoint and click on the connect button right here. You can choose to add a new connection or you can choose from an existing connection if you have connected your Facebook account already. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to click on connect with Facebook lead ads. And because my account is already logged in, everything is connected automatically here. Now all I have to do is I have to just click on save and send a test request. And as soon as I do that, my webhook will be set up inside Facebook automatically without me having to do anything. Now what you have to do is you just have to send one lead, one test lead data on this specific endpoint. So what I will do is I will just click this button right here and I will submit a test lead here. As soon as a test lead is submitted, it will be captured automatically inside Public Connect and then you can send that test lead across to Google Sheet in real time. So this is a lead ad testing tool. This is just a testing tool, but just the integration is done. So that this means whenever there will be new lead, it will automatically be sent. So right now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to select a page. For this use case, I'm selecting the page as Nippon Tech and I'm just going to select my form as Facebook lead forms. I will be previewing the form here just to see how the form looks like. And it seems that we have previously submitted a lead for this form. So we will have to delete a previously submitted lead before we can submit a new lead. So just because it is a test lead form, I'm selecting some other form now. I will just click on preview button as well. And I will click on uh, delete lead first because it seems every form has a lead already. So I'm just selecting the Facebook lead forms here. I am deleting a previously created lead with a test tool already. And I'm now going to create a new lead by clicking this create lead button. So you can see a test lead has been sent to create a new lead, please delete this one. So it means the lead has been sent. And if you go back to Public Connect, Public Connect will now capture that lead, which is just been sent by the Facebook lead forms. So if you can see, you can see lots of data right here and you can see the lead data, which appears somewhere right here. So you just have to worry about the values. So this is the value of name. And this is the email which the Facebook has sent. So all we have to do is we just have to map the email. And in, in fact, the full name is right here. So we just have to uh, map the full name and the email right here, which has been sent to us by Facebook. So this is the lead data which we received instantly and any subsequent form data will automatically be received on this very same trigger step as well. There is one thing that you have to remember is this trigger is actually a generic trigger which will receive a lead data from just about every single form on your Facebook account. So if you are running multiple ads, this trigger will actually receive uh, the leads from all different type of forms on your account. So what you can do is if you really want to capture a lead from a specific lead form, in this case, we just want to capture the lead from Facebook lead forms. All you have to do is you just have to click on this action step right here and apply a filter, okay? You can just add a filter and this filter will be by the name of RES3 name, which will be Facebook lead forms, okay? So we will be saying if RES3 name is equal to 
Facebook leads form. I think this is the pretty much the same name. Then only this flow will go on. So this means if this filter condition is match, then only the next subsequent steps will be taken. Otherwise, if there is a new webhook that arrives from the Facebook end, but it arrives from a different form altogether, it will not be filled. It will be filtered out automatically and it subsequent steps will not be executed. So here you can just send the data to Google Sheets. So I will be selecting Google Sheets here and I will be opening sheets.google.com and I will be creating a blank sheet right here by the name of Facebook lead ads. Okay. And I will be sending name and email in this specific Google Sheet. So I will be adding add new row. I will be connecting my Facebook account. In fact, Google account. I have already selected a previously connected account. So I will be just clicking on connect. It has automatically pulled in my Facebook lead ads Google Sheet. And you can see it automatically pulled out and fetched the name and email field as well. So I will just click on Facebook lead ad. And I will be just mapping the last step, which was the name and email, which was again on res5 email so we have just mapped it while mapping just remember that you always have to pick the last value which is res5 do not map it from res4 or res3 the reason being is facebook sends the data in a convoluted form every single time this res5 step has been added inside pavli connect to make sure that your data is pretty much great and it does not and it takes care of all the permutations and combinations with which uh, Facebook is sending the data and it makes sure that your data is accurate all the time. So I'm just going to click on save and send a test request just to see if our data and our test lead is submitted here successfully and you can see the name and email has been submitted successfully. So it seems we have just integrated the instant Facebook lead ads with Google Sheet with the help of filter. I will be doing another test now just to see if everything is working fine or not. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to delete this lead that we have previously created using the lead ad testing tool. And I'm just going to create a new lead all over again. So I'm just going to press the button create lead and this lead should also be added to Google Sheet. So you can see the lead is added. For example, let's say if I select a different form altogether and if I delete all the previous leads from this form and if I send a lead again, it will not be created inside Google Sheet because the filter step will prevent any leads from going further if the Facebook lead form is not equal to Facebook leads form. So let me just create a lead and your test lead has been sent. It has been sent to workflow. And you can see there is no new data inside Google Sheet. This means the data and the data is filtered. And if you go back to history, you will see the filtered data right here. So I will just refresh it now. And if you click on this is very step, you can see our Facebook lead ad form should match error condition is false. Why the condition is false? Because the form name is testing form one. So it basically failed it. It didn't take it any further and it is stopped the workflow. So this means this ad testing is working fine. This workflow is working fine and you now have the power to basically send any new leads to Google Sheet automatically in real time. Thank you for watching this video.